At the beginning of 2019, I switched from using C++ as my main programming language to C99. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I switched, what I've learned this year by programming in C, what I've actually programmed, and my plans for programming languages going forward. Also, thank you to everyone who shared your opinions, language suggestions, and other helpful comments on my earlier video. It was a great time talking to you all. I looked into every language recommended and I gained some knowledge just from those comments. In my previous video, I didn't talk about my main reason for switching until 4 minutes and 20 seconds in, so many people missed that point, which is my fault. Because I had always used C++, I didn't understand how advanced C++ features translated to the operation of the computer. Using C, I've had to solve the problems that are otherwise solved for me in C++. Through this experience, I've gained a much greater understanding of what a single line of C++ can represent, which is to say hundreds of CPU instructions, and I'm now much better equipped to decide whether to use a language feature to solve something or to write my own solution. I believe this reason alone is enough to recommend that any programmer should try C at some point, even if they plan to move back to a high level language afterwards. Programming in C has kept me more closely connected with the actual operation of the computer while writing code, which for me is a great benefit. This year I've read books about electronics and computing, and found that for me, programming with the hardware at the front of my mind is the most enjoyable way to do it. In that vein, a few people commented something like, next year it'll be why I'm switching from C to assembly, and as it turns out, that's partially accurate. In pursuit of learning about the electronics of computers, I decided to create a 6502 based 8-bit computer. Moments later, this brilliant guy called Ben Eder started producing a series of videos about creating a 6502-based 8-bit computer, along with selling a kit with all the required parts. Thanks to this delightful coincidence, along with a generous person on Reddit, I'm currently building said computer and will be programming it in assembly. I obviously won't be switching fully over to assembly for game development, but I think it'll be very valuable for my education and enjoyable to boot. This year, the most important thing I programmed was a 3D software renderer, which I used as the basis of my latest free game, Maze95. Programming something like this would have been utterly impossible for me before switching to C, so I think it's an excellent measure of how C has improved my programming ability. I've also programmed almost every library I've needed this year myself, rather than using others, as a way of learning to program at a lower level and to enable me to deal with problems I encounter in the future when using other people's libraries. So will I switch back to C++ now? Not yet. Now that I've gone without C++'s features for a year and learned a lot about computer science, I'm confident that when I do use C++, I'll be well equipped to decide which features to use and which to avoid. However, I don't see much of a point of switching from C to C++ as I'd currently dismiss almost every feature. There are several features I wish C had. Templates would come in handy occasionally, which apparently are in C11. Deferred code, a better build system, non-text-based includes, and many more. However, C++ doesn't fulfill my desires for a new programming language, so for now I'm sticking with C. What about Rust, which was the most recommended language in the comments of the last video? In my view, it takes the programmer too far from the function of the hardware. That's not objectively a bad thing, it's just not my preference. It also appears to have horrendous build times like C++, which I didn't realize I hated so much until I switched to C and began to enjoy one second compilations. Go, Lisp, Nim, Chicken, and all the other languages suggested didn't appeal to me any more than C. One language that could end up better than C is Zig, but it's probably a few years away from being fully usable, so I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm still open to other programming languages, but after much searching, C is still my favorite. And that's my main takeaway from all this. Switching to C was well worth it, because I discovered that I enjoy C much more than any other programming language I've tried. Languages have all sorts of pros and cons, and many people will tell you to stay away from one language or another, or only bother with the languages they think are worthwhile. But at the end of the day, I spend more time programming and write better code because I've discovered a language I really enjoy using. So my advice to anyone wondering, should I try X language, is go for it. Your friends might make fun of you for using a different language than them, but you might just find the perfect language for you.